I love the the thing of like vampire drain, like you were saying with the battery, like you leave your Tesla parked outside, it loses 2% each year, uh, each night or whatever. Tesla's 20 billion cash balance. This is kind of like, to me, the crux of it. My biggest investment position, world's leading technology company, extremely forward thinking, awesome CFO, Zach Kirkhorn. I'm, if I'm in the Tesla boardroom right now or meeting with them, I'm like, yo, so we got 20 billion on the balance sheet. We just did a $5 billion raise. We're not spending this for at least two years. How are we not going to start considering plugging in to that aqueduct exactly like you're saying? So what would, I'm, I'm curious, like I'm totally sold on this. I think at least one to 5% of your company, company treasury is like a smaller, easier step, kind of like something like Square did. But I'm curious of like, if you were with me in that room and we're pitching Tesla and Kirk Horn and Elon about this, like what's, what's kind of the sell here? It, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just curious. My sell would be that you're eventually going to need, you've got $20 billion worth of monetary energy today it's losing 15% of its purchasing power a year. You're going to lose half of that energy in 36 months unless you protect it. If you put it into Bitcoin, instead of losing half your purchasing power, you can reasonably expect to double your purchasing power every year for the next three years. So why not put a billion in and it'll be worth 8 billion in three years instead of not put a billion. In. If you keep all the money, you're guaranteed to lose $10 billion in purchasing power. It's a guarantee. For, for early companies, I keep thinking like if you're, it's, it's like a FOMO thing. Like if Amazon says they're going to buy Bitcoin on their treasury, Bitcoin doubles. So if I were, the, I actually put out a thing like five years ago called Apple and iCoin. It was when Bitcoin was like a 10 billion market cap. And I was like, if I was Apple, I'd start secretly buying up all Bitcoin and then announced that I was opening a Bitcoin bank put up crypto wallets on every single iPhone, the price of Bitcoin immediately soars. You have like 5 bi uh, million Bitcoin in your treasury that you accumulated. You can act as the de facto Fed of Bitcoin. Now we're way, that ship is totally sailed, but I still think the ship is not sailed where Amazon, Apple, or Tesla announced they're doing this. The price of Bitcoins triples instantly. So you already almost have a guaranteed, as, as kind of messed up as that is, locked in return once one oh, of these- It's brilliant. And it's, it's not messed up. It's very straightforward and obvious. If Tesla puts a billion dollars into Bitcoin, they'll double their money in, within 12 months. If they put two billion in, they would probably generate a $10 billion gain, right? It, it, by the way, anybody could do it. Like if you had, if you're a, a billionaire hedge fund guy, you put a billion into Bitcoin, just put it out on the wire and say you did it. <laughs> because, because Bitcoin is, it's a, it's a dominant network that's unstoppable. Everybody needs it. Nobody can stop it, but very few people understand it. 99% of the investors don't understand it, but once they understand it, they've all got to stampede into it and, as, and they're going to squeeze through it and they're going to bid the price up. And so it creates this very virtuous cycle. You buy it, the price goes up. It gets more valuable. More people, build, more people want it. There's more adoption. The price goes up. Now more companies, you know, maybe a company can't buy 5 billion worth of it. They can only buy 1 billion worth of it. When it goes up again, a big insurance company buys 2 billion instead of 100 million. And then it goes up again because Bitcoin only exists to do one thing, which is to provide monetary liquidity. So therefore, the higher the price goes, the better it gets, right? Which is the opposite of most companies where the higher the price goes and the higher the stock goes, the riskier it gets, the higher Bitcoin's price goes, the less risky it gets. Yeah. And it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy because to me, any currency's value is essentially its utility. So the utility of Bitcoin goes up, the more people that accept it, the more brand value it has, the more big company treasuries that are buying it. Like there is almost a true material increase in the value intrinsically, at least by my definition, because the utility is there as increased, you know? Bitcoin is a union in cyberspace. It's a monetary union. It's a more perfect monetary union. The sooner you join, the better you are off. And as people join, it gets more powerful and, you know, and the price goes up. So if you're, if you're Tesla, you want to be first because Apple will pay twice as much and then Google will pay twice that much and Love Facebook yep. will pay twice that much. And eventually everybody's got to join because 
because uh, if you don't join, you're going to lose 15% to 20% of your purchasing power. <laughs> so ultimately, everybody's in this stampede to preserve their wealth or their purchasing power. And, and in this particular case, Bitcoin is the dominant answer. And as people start to realize that, it's just going to accelerate the transition and the adoption rate. So I like